What's up YouTube, Jason Tome here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about my 2021 hunting season goals and kind of like a, an overview of what I'm planning to do this fall. Uh, I thought you might be kind of interested in what I'm up to. So anyway, I figured I'd break it down month by month. This isn't gonna be an in-depth video at all. It's just gonna be a quick uh, bullet points kind of thing. Um, so I guess we'll start with September. So today is actually the first day of expanded archery season here in Maine, so you can shoot as many does as you want as long as you, you keep buying tags and you can shoot one buck as well. I haven't done my homework um, trying to find a buck here in the, the early season expanded zone, so I think what I'm gonna do is just shoot some does, that's the plan. Usually I don't because I always feel like there could be a buck behind a doe uh, just coming out a little bit later, something like that, so I never shoot does. But this year, I think I'm gonna change it up and start shooting some does. One, because it'll be some good practice for uh, later on in the season. But also I have some landowners that really like deer meat. So it'd be pretty cool if I could shoot a deer and give some deer meat to some of the landowners that have, have given me permission to hunt on their land. Uh, I think they'd appreciate that. So that's kind of my motivation for shooting does. Um, I might try to hunt some buck bucky looking areas and hope a buck comes out. But if a doe happens to walk out first, I'll probably end up taking the doe. Um, so that's my kind of my plan for the whole expanded archery season, the, well, the September season anyway. Um, so that'll be today and then next weekend I'll probably be doing that. And then so the last week of September I'm going on a moose hunt and uh, my grandfather got his got drawn in the main moose lottery for our September bull hunt. So that's right during the rut. So I'm pretty excited for that hunt. That should be a lot of fun. Uh, a bunch of my family's going up there. Uh, we got a pretty good crew, so it should be, should be a good time and should get some good video. So I'm hoping to get some video of that up here in the next month or so. Um, I don't think we're going to be too picky on that hunt. Uh, pretty much any bull I think we're going we're gonna to shoot. I think my grandfather wants to shoot any bull that he sees. Maybe on the first day we might let a small one pass, but I think that the plan is to, to just to get a bull on the ground and then uh, just hang out for the rest of the week up there and maybe do some partridge hunting. Um, maybe even some waterfowl hunting if the season's open up there, I'll have to check. Um, I think so. But anyway, we'll worry about that once we get a bull on the ground. And then the week after the moose hunt, I'm going to be heading back up north to do a goose partridge hunt combo and we might get into some ducks too. Um, but I usually go up there with my dad and my grandfather and uh, a couple of our friends. We either meet them up there or we're, we're hunting uh, with them. So that's always a good time. I'm looking forward to getting up there and getting some good footage of that stuff. But once I come back from that trip, I'm going to be starting to get more serious about deer hunting. It'll be around mid-October. So um, I won't hunt my best spots until the last week of October. But I've got some good like secondary spots that I like to hunt during that middle October, that mid-October period. If I end up getting a buck in Maine with my bow, then I'm gonna head over to some other states nearby, like probably the next one will be New Hampshire. So if I don't get a deer with my bow, then I'm gonna switch over to the rifle and primarily use that for the rest of the season. Um, I wanna hunt some bigger tracts of land, not real big, big woods, but some kind of like medium-sized pieces of woods. Um, when I'm using my rifle, which I haven't, which I really haven't done. Usually I hunt kind of smaller parcels of land or I'm up in the big woods tracking. So I think I'm gonna do some more medium sized woods hunting with a rifle when there's no snow on the ground. I just think my chances of shooting a nice buck are gonna be a little bit higher, even though I'll probably see less deer, but I'm all right with that. That's a, that's a good trade off for me. And um, as soon as the snow flies, then I'll be heading up north again and just kind of following the snow to do some tracking. And then if I end up getting a deer with my rifle tracking or just with my rifle in general, then again, I'm probably gonna shoot off to another state and try to do some more tracking because I'd really like to get a deer tracking this year. And then if I don't get a deer during the rifle season, I plan to bring the muzzleloader out and uh, finish off the last couple weeks using the muzzleloader. So the buck that I'd like to shoot this year, at least in Southern Maine, would be something around that 120 inch mark. Um, not an absolute monster, but that's a pretty nice buck for me. So I'd be more than happy with taking taking a deer that's uh, 120 inches. Uh, if I head up north and I'm starting to do some tracking, I'm not as concerned. I'd still like to get something close to that 120 inch mark. Um, and I think that's pretty doable if I'm tracking a deer that looks like it's, uh, it's gonna be around that 200 pound mark, but I am definitely less concerned with antlers and more concerned with weight. So I think those are pretty reasonable goals. Definitely not easy to accomplish, but a good challenge for me anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this overview of my 2021 hunting season and goals. Um, if you have any cool trips planned, I'd love to hear them in the comments below, but uh, I've got to start getting ready for my first hunt of the year. So um, I'll catch you guys on the next one.